for you are mighty, you are holy, you are righteous, you are Jehovah, you are the God of war, you are Jehovah our protector, you are Jehovah our shield and our mighty battle axe, you are Jehovah, you are I am that I am and you are everything and we worship you. We love you. We thank you for being all that we need you to be. And we thank you for shielding us and protecting us from danger seen and unseen. And we thank you for placing your heavenly angels around us so that we are protected from all spirits of darkness, destruction, mayhem, death, premature death and catastrophes. Oh Lord, we cannot thank you enough for all that you have done. We cannot uplift your name high enough. We can't sing enough we can't dance enough we can't praise enough for what can we ever do that will compensate for your love for us what can we do that will ever compensate for your mighty hand destroying evil spirits and principalities before us what can we give to a king so mighty what shall we render to a God so just and faithful oh Lord if we could praise you for a million years without stopping to gasp for air it still would not be enough. What can we render to the Lord of Heaven's armies? Oh God, what shall we render to the one who destroyed and wiped out Pharaoh and his armies with just one blow of his nostrils? What shall we render to the one who protects us from spells and enchantments and witchcraft and divine us? and evil priests who try to speak death over us and our families but they boomerang in the spirit and consume them instead what shall we render to the Lord whose blood is as potent as this what shall we render to the Lord who loves us like this what can we do O Lord what can we do for all we have to do is call and you answer us all we have to do is speak and you're already sending the answer from the very moment that we speak and we ask you oh lord what can we give unto you for this kind of access what can we give to you for this kind of connection what can we pay for this kind of peace for we were unworthy but you called us still we were unlovable but you loved us still we were not chosen by people but you chose us still and for that I worship you and for that I praise you for that I lift my hands to you and say God I love you God we love you we love you we love you we love you and I'm going to show you the most we love you because you first loved us and Father God right now because of that love I know that when I pray, I will be heard. I know that when I ask, it will be given. I know that when I seek, I shall find. But that is your word and that is your holy promise. And right now, Father, I ask that you deliver us from the spirit of Pharaoh and of Egypt. Lord, I ask that you drown every demonic driver trying to drive our destinies into a path that you do not have for us. Drive them into this sea and drive every spirit into the sea who dares to come after us as we are doing your will. Arise and be our mighty defender. Arise and be our strength for we trust in you and not man for we trust in you and not our chariots. Let your right hand shatter the enemy as you show us your majestic power. Throw down all those who oppose us as we are doing your will and therefore they oppose you. Throw down everyone who is trying to come up against us in our destinies unleash your burning anger and consume every demonic spirit operating through people and in the heavens to try to delay us from making it to the land you have promised for our enemies have boasted they have said that we would not make it they have said that we would not get married they have said that we would not bear children they have said that we would always fail they have said that we will never receive a breakthrough but oh God you are the God of the breakthrough 
and who can better break us through than you for you are the Lord our breaker and our banner and you go before us and you make every crooked path straight and you break us through let the enemies who have whispered such lies about us be ashamed let those who have tried to speak evil against us and our destinies be ashamed for their witchcraft let them tremble as you bring us out and place us in a land flowing with milk and honey let them be terrified for how mighty you will arise for us and how you defend us because we are obeying your will and walking in your plans and your ways oh lord by the power of your arm make them as still as stone as they see us walking into everything that you spoke over us in your divinity may their faces be as still as stone as we pass them by let the faces be as still as stone and ashamed oh of our side as they see us exalted and brought into the mountain of your inheritance into the place you have established for us oh god into the place you have ordained for us long ago before the very foundation of the world oh god what can we render to you for hurling every spirit of pharaoh and egypt and bondage and slavery into the sea what can we render to you for swallowing up our enemies what can we give to you for being the awesome, mighty, powerful, majestic, holy, or Rabbi Shai, perfect God that you are? What can we say? What can we do? What can we pay? What can we pray? Oh, Exodus chapter 15 verses 7 through 10 says, in the greatness of your majesty you threw down those who opposed you you unleashed your burning anger it consumed them like stubble by the blast of your nostrils the waters piled up the surging waters stood up like a wall the deep waters congealed in the heart of the sea the enemy boasted and the enemy said I will pursue I will overtake them I will divide the spoils I will go myself on them I will draw my sword and my hand will destroy them but you O Lord blew with your breath and the sea covered them and they sank like lead in the mighty waters and Lord God right now I ask that you would sink every enemy who opposes your will sink them and their demonic efforts sink them and their demonic prayers sink them and their demonic wishes sink them and their demonic comfort conversations and their demonic groups lord arise and judge those who are opposing us as we are simply trying to do your will arise and judge those who don't want what you have spoken in the heavens and in your wisdom and in your power and in your majesty and in your divinity to come true and come to pass arise and judge those who are purposely going to demonic altars and trying to put curses on us so that we cannot carry the cross you have given us to carry arise and deal with every spirit of bondage and of Pharaoh and of Egypt and of witchcraft and of backlash because we are walking into the promised land and they don't want us to go forward they don't want us to walk forward and now they're sending darts and now they're sending curses and now they're sending hexes and and spells oh God arise and let your judgment be swift upon all those who wish evil to your sons and daughters oh God arise and stretch out your right hand and let the earth swallow all of your enemies oh Lord for they have not repented and you have given them time to repent they have not turned from their wicked ways and you and your awesome grace have given them time to turn from their wicked ways but yet they keep on going and they keep on coming and they keep trying to kill us and they keep trying to come after us with swords and with darts in the spirit and with curses and Lord I ask that you will arise on our behalf and rebuke them and stand between us and them and judge all of our side and Lord I plead the blood over our minds I plead the blood over our houses I plead the blood over our spouses or soon to be spouses I plead the blood over our families and our children 
I plead the blood over the babies. I plead the blood over the very dogs and cats and birds and fish and animals that we own and the cars we drive and the planes we get on. And I bind every attack of the enemy and I send it back to the pit of hell. For you said that what we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and what we loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. And right now, Lord, I say that never again will we allow Pharaoh or Satan or bondage to control us. For you have delivered us out of the enemy's hand with your mighty power and we are free. Never again will we be a slave to Satan for we are now servants of the Most High God, Yeshua HaMashiach. We are servants of Christ. Never again will we allow the spirit of Pharaoh to bring us back into bondage. Never again will we allow the devil to do what he desires in our lives for we resist him and he flees from us never again will we listen to him and believe his lies for he is a liar and the father of lies never again will we allow curses to hinder us and witches and warlocks to break us and I break the power of every curse hex spell evil word curse and enchantment off of us Arabasai, and our spouses and spouses to be and our families and children right now in the name of Jesus and I speak that they have no power for we have been redeemed from the curse according to Galatians 3.13 and never again will we allow the enemy to control our minds or our destinies for our Lord is the revealer and finisher of our destinies and what he has spoken shall be and everything that oppose us shall drown in the sea and we are stepping over we are crossing over we are crossing over we are crossing over breakthrough is on the horizon rainbows are on the horizon the mountain of your inheritance is on the horizon and joy and favor is on the horizon
great reward is on the horizon.